Good evening, Las Vegas. Hey, hey, it's Vegas, baby. You guys really come out in full force. Wow, I'm very impressed. I have to say, what a night this is tonight, Las Vegas. I never thought we'd get so many people here on the strip to come and see Formula One. Give it up for Formula One tonight in Vegas! Rumour has it, Lewis Hamilton does not enjoy driving on the road. He doesn't. He was on Jimmy Kimmel, wasn't he? He was. A couple of weeks ago saying he likes to sit in the back and he likes to make phone calls and, uh, and look through his social media, but he is not a man who likes to drive on the road. But to be fair, when you excel at over 200 miles an hour in the way Lewis does... Streets get kind of boring. Yeah, though. sticking to the speed limit, it's not really very fun. There you go. There he goes. That's a DJ stretch. Let's have some tunes. Let's have some tunes for this, I think. There you go. George, take some notes. <laughs> Looks like he's done that a couple of times. <laughs> Just a couple. They're off down the strip now. Down past the Flamingo, down towards Paris. to wave to the crowd. And this is part of the main back straight where the drivers will be racing 378 days time. More donuts! It's going to have no rubber left in a second. difficult to do too much speed around the Arc de Triomphe, just like in real life. You live in Paris. I do. You know how bad the traffic is. I haven't is. done any donuts around the I must say. I haven't done them yet. Still time. Oh, that's how you enter the strip. He looks like he wants to go racing. <laughs> we all want to go racing. And tickets, by the way, on sale from tonight. 10 o'clock, Vegas time. Get ready, guys. Those tickets are highly wanted. Who's coming next year? Okay, okay, so there's lots of competition for the tickets out here tonight, guys. Oh, I can smell that rubber. <laughs> Do you get the feeling that the guys here decided to hell with the program we're, we're just going to have some fun. We're going to do our thing. We've come a long way. We're just going to do our thing tonight. Here they come. Now, it's not an easy thing getting into a Formula One car, and you can't do it yourself. You need your crew there to help you put your seatbelts on, to plug you in so that you are connected uh, to the team, so you can talk to the team. There's also a, a drink system as well that will need connecting. Look Although... how many buttons there are on that steering wheel as well. <laughs> and I think we are ready to fire up that 1.6 litre V6 turbo engine. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, George Russell! So while George heads out onto the strip, DJ Stretch, give us some tunes for George and the Las Vegas Strip.
he going to go back out again? I think he is. First time on the Las Vegas Strip. Formula One and George Russell. Ooh. Ooh. Nice save. Wow. Just a little love tap onto the barriers. Well, don't know about you, Crofty, but it looks really slippery out there. That's like a Formula One driver signing an autograph on the tarmac. It is, it is. The tyres look slightly flat spot, I don't know if you noticed that, so it's all gone down onto the track. Absolutely. He's not going to want to use these again. talking about that sensory overload that is Las Vegas. Yeah, I think we've just discovered about a million extra senses to overload with that one. That's for sure. That has got to be the coolest thing George Russell has ever done. And he's raced in Formula One. He's been on the podium. He's been on pole. But to be the first driver to drive down the Las Vegas Strip, yeah. That is a pretty cool experience. George will be coming up onto the stage to have a chat with us in a little while, and we'll find out just how much he's buzzing for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. George Russell, ladies and gentlemen. Now we've seen a lot of Mercedes. It's time to see some Red Bull. Yeah, I think we got a few. Give it up for the man from Guadalajara, Sergio Perez. Who this season became the first driver to win Monaco and Singapore in 11 years. Does that make him the street track guru? It makes him the king. It makes him the king, Naomi, of street tracks. Well, what are his odds of winning here next year, Crofty? Yeah, well, his odds are a little bit more than Lewis Hamilton. But 11 years since someone won Monaco and Singapore in the same year. There are 11 letters in Sergio Perez's name. He drives car number 11. And in Singapore, he came out of garage number 11. And when he crossed the line to win in Singapore, the time on the clock, 11, 11, 11. That is fate. Must be. And this driving the 2011 Red Bull is Sergio Perez!
this car is slightly louder than the Mercedes. Different engine, of course. This is from the V8 era. Red Bull were winning Constructors' Championship just as they won uh, this year, of course, four in a row. <laughs> Sebastian Vettel for Mark Webber and for Red Bull. But never in the Drivers' Championship if Red Bull finished one and two. Sergio currently second in that championship table. Can he hang on to second place from Charles Leclerc between now and the chequered flag in Abu Dhabi? And look at that. What a glorious sight that is. With the sun setting over Las Vegas, Sergio Perez lighting up the strip. Now that's a one-handed donut. Who here can do a one-handed donut? I can't even eat a donut with one hand. <laughs> Amazing car control from Sergio Perez. How, how hard is that to do a donut one-handed? You're the racing driver. Well, to be honest, I don't want to make it sound easy. However, when you full lock, you only really need one hand. Really? I say that. I haven't actually done a one-handed donut. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Sergio Perez, the second driver to take to the Las Vegas Strip. Make some noise for Sergio Perez. He's laid down so much rubber. I actually think some of it is drifting onto our stage. Slowly. It is harder because actually first gear is, is, is tough to drive in, in an F1 car. Although Sergio is a man who's very good at coming into his pit stop. The nine fastest pit stops in Formula One this season all belong to this man. Sergio Perez. Yeah. So what did you guys prefer? The Mercedes or the Red Bull? Wow, a lot of Red Bull fans here. I sense a bit of competition down here in Vegas tonight. We got some McLaren fans down here as well. Hello, Team Papaya. Aston Martin. Team Green, love that. Exum. Looks like Checo hasn't had enough, Crofty. Is he going back out for some more? You must have heard you guys screaming for him. What I want to see is the Bellagio fountains firing up into the sky while a Formula One car is blasting past. See if the, the fountains can keep up with the car. I'm starting to think he's having a little too much fun out there. No. You could never have too much of this. Showing off his one-handed donut. The thing is, when he comes back to Vegas next year, this is the last thing he's going to want to do down the straight, is go for a spin. That's correct. So this is the last time he'll be able to do that, yeah. I guess. Get it out of the way now.
See, I remember once upon a time when I was little, I used to, uh, I used to go and play football with my mates, and my mum and dad would be shouting, come on, you've got to come in, it's time for bed. And I'd be like, no, just five more minutes. This is what Sergio's doing now, yeah? He's like, I'm out here, I'm not coming in, it's not bedtime, no way. I don't blame him. Came all the way, that's what I'd want to be doing. I think. <laughs> Final donuts. <laughs> oh, threw a peace sign in there as well. Love it. So, wherever you are at the Las Vegas Strip and here at Caesars Palace, make some noise for Trekko Perez. There we go. Look at these babies. So this trophy truck is driven by Bryce Menzies. Now he's a six time trophy truck champion. So if anyone can drive this thing, he can. Yeah. Oh, look at that. He holds the record for the longest distance jump in a trophy truck. How can far? You, can you guess how far? What, like this far? Between you and I? Uh, I think it's a little further. OK, I'll go back a bit further. A little more. A little more. I'm going to fall off the stage. Yeah, well, that's what I was aiming for. Whatever. <laughs> uh, no, 379 feet over a New Mexico ghost city. Wow. Now, I mean, that is an impressive. I don't know what it is. That's enough to scare me. He's definitely going to be dizzy, <laughs> that's for sure. They're going to fountains. That was some serious millimetre work there as well, wasn't it? Checo! Checo! Here he comes! Oh, that, that looked like some new boots to me on the rear. Yeah. New boots. I think it needed it. New boots equals more donuts. I have no problem with that at all. New boots also means you need some time to warm them up. Absolutely. There's only one, one piece of way to do that. This is just incredible. Tens of thousands of people lining the side of the Las Vegas Strip. The Bellagio Fountains dancing in the background while Sergio Perez, one-handed, shows us how to lay down some rubber here in Vegas. And this is just to whet your appetite for the Las Vegas Grand Prix in 2023, November the 16th to the 18th. I cannot wait. Now, if that isn't a backdrop for a racetrack, I don't know what is. I mean, this is new, this is new for us, but 
Wow. I mean, look, we've been to Vegas before in 81 and 82. We were in the car park here at Caesars Palace. This is on a different scale. Now, I'd like to say Sergio has finished his run, but you know, if he can still see in the darkness here in Vegas, he might go back out for another, another couple of laps. <laughs> Do you think he's trying to get some intel for next season? Yeah, this is the uh, the first exploratory laps of the Las Vegas Strip. So Sergio's coming out for one more go. lit up and shining brightly as Lewis Hamilton powers his Mercedes down the Las Vegas Boulevard. There's a Formula One car there somewhere. Oh. Just run out of turning circle. This city has seen everything. I'm not quite sure it's seen a night like this before. 
a sporting mecca, an entertainment mecca, and now a destination, and a new destination for Formula One. As Lewis Hamilton makes his way then back here to the garages at Caesars Palace. Show your appreciation for the greatest of all time, the seven-time world champion, the GOAT, Lewis Hamilton! Wow. Parked at the wrong garage there. <laughs> uh, the rumours that Lewis Hamilton's about to join Red Bull are not true. <laughs> He's very happy at Mercedes and I'm sure soon we'll be signing a new long-term contract. Do you want to see Lewis Hamilton stay around in Formula One for a few more years? Yeah. Uh, do we want to see Lewis Hamilton back out on the strip? Yes, we do. You get your wishes, both of them, ladies and gentlemen, because here comes Lewis once more! Lewis fans, let us hear you chant. Come on, we heard the Checker fans. Lewis, 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 all the way down the strip, keep that going. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Something has obviously gone wrong there. Come on, Lewis, check! Come on, fans, come on! Now, you see, you can make an entrance in life, that's how to make an exit, yeah? Yeah. They do always say, don't do the last lap. <laughs> they do always say that. Yeah. <laughs> Good rule to stick by. Uh, I think that is Lewis Hamilton making an exit from the cockpit, uh, but doing so in some style. Dave, are we ready in the simulator? Yes, we are. We're good. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hand over my mic for now. Give your someone. mic to Dave and uh, we can hear you while you're doing your simulator. Uh, we are driving the Formula One car. Uh, the, uh, the car that uh, was on show down at the start-finish area. Here we go. We're past the start line now and into the first corner. Hard on the brakes into that hairpin and ease the car wide, but then bring it back for the next right-hander. And onwards now, another little straight as we go towards the MGM Sphere. I'm really enjoying this, Naomi. This is superb. Do we know where the next corner's going? It's going right. That's the one we got a little bit wrong on the outlap, but you've absolutely nailed that as you go through the right-hander. A little flick to the left here. Oh, a little twitch of the brakes there. Straight the car up a bit. Let's go left, right through the chicane by the MGM Sphere. Don't take too much curb. You don't want to run out wide to the wall on the left-hand side. Now, underneath the monorail we go. Did we just kiss the barrier? you got to kiss the barrier. If you're not kissing the barrier, you're not going fast enough. And Naomi Schiff is absolutely foot to the floor here as we head down towards the Las Vegas Strip. So the left-hand turn down by the wind. And now, past the Venetian we go, where they're singing in the gondolas for Naomi Schiff this evening. Past Treasure Island, where the pirates have got the booty ready in celebration. The rum is on ice as we head down the strip now. This is the best lap I've ever seen at the Las Vegas circuit. It might be the only lap I've ever seen, but it's the best. Got a break. Break now. Round about the 100 meter board from a top speed of 215 miles an hour. We now turn left and away we go past the MGM Grand and towards the start finish straight. This is gonna be 
the unofficial lap that the drivers are going to all have to try and beat next time they come as we cross the line. Naomi Schiff, ladies and gentlemen. And I suppose you want to know what the lap time was. Now, this is the unofficial lap record for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. You did that in a time of... 1 minute 41.72! OK, well, next time I'll be more prepared, but... You know, try my best, try my best. What did you guys think? Was it OK? Thank you. How you guys doing? Yeah. You guys, I'm so excited to be here in Vegas. Yeah. Just driving down that strip, um, watching movies like so many of you have seen Vegas and the lights, this race is gonna be for sure the best race of all time. So, <laughs> you guys are gonna be here. So, I'm so, thank you so much for having us. What do you make of it, George? Is it good? Vegas, baby. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> As Lewis said, I think it's super exciting, this race. It's going to be absolutely... I mean, it's wild already, and you guys have made it wild. So this time next year, it's going to be crazy, and I uh, can't wait for it. Now, I know you guys are absolute professionals, but I've been here for a day and a half now. Slightly distracting, slightly hard to stay focused on work. You guys think you're going to be able to stay focused uh, with all of this around you? Nope. <laughs> 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 no, of course. I mean, we, we have races like Singapore... Uh, you know, Monaco, for example, is, is pretty hectic. It's definitely not going to be easy, but, you know, we'd be here to try and win the race, of course. But hopefully we get to enjoy a bit of what this city has to, to offer. And you guys always, always have an amazing time here, so... Uh, honestly, it's, it's, a surprise. it's a surprise always to see so many people here. Uh, the whole way around the circuit. Hi, sweetie. Um, you know, the support from all of you, you know, people that have come out to Austin, uh, Miami, it's been phenomenal this year, so thank you so much for the support. Now, George, we saw you go out every time, by the way, even in the safety car. Seems like you know how to do donuts better in your race car, though. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had to, I had to yeah. go there. I had it to was. go there. <laughs> Did you... I almost crashed in the F1 car. It no, was when we, sketchy when, out so, there. So, George, when we were in the safety car, whilst you weren't looking, I turned traction control off. Did you? <laughs> so, when you try and do the burnouts, you couldn't do it. Either. I, tried to do, I, tried to do, I tried to do a burnout. I He's like, I don't burnout. know what's going on with it. It won't break traction. <laughs> so, you did that? So you have a teammates for you guys. Playing games. I fucking you. I didn't really do it. No, no, I thought you did. Something was all right. Something was all right. <laughs> you, two, you two are great teammates, and you've had a lot of fun this year. Um... If and when Mercedes are one and two next year, when you cross the line, how do you two celebrate in Vegas together after the race on November the 18th? You're Formula One drivers. You can do anything you want. How do you celebrate in Vegas? In Vegas? Yeah, baby. With Mike we... Tyson and the Tiger, isn't it? In yeah. Vegas. <laughs> but you're at the right place. <laughs> the jungle cat in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> okay, let's say you hit the jackpot. I don't even know what's, what, what, what's the best thing to do here. <laughs> Casino? I think, I think we'll find something to do. Yeah, I think there's multi... You just be just an all-nighter doing lots of different things. Not going to, <laughs> not going to sleep, getting lost. George will end up on the roof of the hotel. Big yeah. ta and, ta tattoo uh, on the side of the face. Yeah. Big tattoo and, 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 and a baby around you, your middle... Sort of yeah, we'll just marry George off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. It's genius. <laughs> Anyone fancy marrying George Russell? I'm coming here with my girlfriend, so I don't know if we'll end up in a little white chapel. Well, then we'll you'll have to marry your girlfriend, won't absolutely, you? Absolutely, absolutely. No. So, George, I want to know, I don't know if you saw my really embarrassing lab that Crofty made me do last minute. Uh, it was pretty average. I want to know, what do you think? This track looks more challenging than the map looks, doesn't it? Than what? Sorry? The track map looks quite simple, but then it's, actually driving it is no, a little more technical than you think. It's simple driving a Formula 1 car around a, around a circuit that's as fast as this. I don't know. I don't think this is going to probably be the most exciting one to drive, but for you guys watching, and I feel like this race is designed for good racing, for overtakes, good racing, entertainment, and I think the Sunday for us is going to be super exciting. But to be honest, 
I don't really care as long as we're at the front, so that's, that's, that's what it's all about. Well, who wants to see the Mercedes at the front next year, then? Do you think you're going to get a bit distracted as well? Because there's neon and there's lights everywhere you go, and you're going to be racing past the Bellagio fountains as well. There's a lot of distractions here for drivers. Or can you keep your cool in the cockpit? Oh, well, Checo's here. Checo, let's go. Oh, there you have it, guys. Sergio Perez, ladies Checo and gentlemen. Perez. <laughs> Are you allowed to answer? Yes, yeah. he is. Uh, well, they're not here. <laughs> yeah, they're not here. It's absolutely what fine. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Probably. Exactly. It's all good. All right. So I was going to ask a nice question, but I'll ask an even nicer question to Checo now. Uh, no hands donut. One hand donut. Two hand donut. What happened, George? Yes. Checo, Checo was doing no-handed donuts out there. Safety first, people. <laughs> <laughs> also, have you seen how the Red Bull handles? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it handles pretty well. So. <laughs> Was that you? I, I nearly crashed, yeah. Did you? I did. There was so much smoke, and I had no idea where it was. I was completely lost. <laughs> I couldn't figure out the, or the building, so I, I started pulling out, and there was a barrier. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> you also had the dark visor, right? No? Yeah, but you, you were doing donuts. There was no smoke. What was going on with your tires? Yeah, too much grip. Yeah, yeah. Too, much too much grip. That car is quite good. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> Okay, well, before we get any more jabs in there, guys. No, I sense a lot of competition down here. A lot tonight. of competition. I'm loving this. We've got to get the boxing gloves in a second. Checo, two street race wins this year. Everyone here considers you the street racing guru. What do you make of this track? Are you excited about it? Yeah, so much looking forward. I mean, I love this place. Uh, I've come here so many times in my life, so I just cannot imagine an, an event together with Formula One. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, I think, the biggest event in the world next year. Okay. Could you, could there are a lot of Mexicans believe? out here, no? Yeah, there, there's a lot of Mexicans. Plenty of Mexicans. Mexicans, <laughs> Mexicans are everywhere, right? They're everywhere, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, this could carry on all night, these Checo cheers. We should let's just leave it to you. <laughs> they love you too, man. Gentlemen, there's a lot of races next year, 24 races. But when we come here to Vegas, this could also be the title decider as well. Would it be the coolest place to win a world title here on the Las Vegas Strip in the entertainment capital of the world, yeah? Well, this guy's got seven of them, so he can probably tell you more than <laughs> <laughs> we can. Uh, I mean, so we saying we want eight. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon, Lewis? a good place to win a world championship? I mean, the party would be the best here if he did, so... Um, how many... Oh, is it the second to last race? I don't actually know. It is the second to last race, yeah. Okay, wow. I'm sure if that happened, you know, the, the champion will not make it to Abu Dhabi. Definitely not, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> He'd still be on the roof with George Russell. <laughs> Somewhere there. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for coming tonight, for coming onto the stage to speak to us all, and for entertaining and thrilling the crowds on the Las Vegas Strip, we have three, ladies and gentlemen, of the finest athletes in the world, George Russell, Sergio Perez, and Lewis Hamilton!
is Alex Albon and his team principal, Jos Capital. How are you? How are you? What a night in Vegas, gentlemen. It looks amazing, even just seeing the drivers now going down the strip. So, you know, you're getting that, that itchy feeling that you want to go driving soon. So uh, I can't wait to get going. It seems crazy to think that we're driving through Vegas in Formula One cars, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, Jost, as we've been saying, there were a few distractions in this town. Uh, how difficult, as the team boss, is it going to be to, uh, to keep the drivers, keep the crew focused, go out there and get some points and save the party until afterwards? I still have to develop a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here a couple of years ago with Rallycross, and that was a night race. And then I thought the Rallycross is great, but would be Formula One great. And then when I first heard we are coming to Las Vegas, I said, that's it, that will be the race of the year. And how important is it for Formula One that we come to Vegas? Yeah, I think Formula One belongs to Vegas, as Vegas belongs to Formula One, isn't it? No, I said, this is the last piece of the puzzle for Formula One. And and Brilliant. here we are. Alex, final words to you, because we've got a spectacular show coming I'm not asking a question. everyone's way. I'm Come not asking Naomi. a question, because there's a little fan here in the crowd. His name is Matis, he's nine years old, Thank and he you. wants to know what your highlight of the season was. Oh, my highlight of the season? I have to say, yeah, Australia. Um, he's there. He's there. There he is, standing at the pole with the hat. You've signed oh, that hat, my by God. the way. How did you listen to him from that far away? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, obviously Australia was a really special race for us. Um, points, the first points for the team. So, um, you know, we're, we're obviously getting up there. We're, we're scoring more points, obviously. Hopefully next year in Vegas, we can, we can score some more even. Give it up for that. Alex Albon and Jos Capito, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, gentlemen. We have one more special guest up on the stage. And a few moments time, it is Haas time. Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce a man so famous in the United States that when Brad Pitt came to a Formula One race, he asked for his autograph. It's good to sign out. Is that true? No, it's a, it, it's a crafty joke, you know. So, so he talks a lot of this stuff, you know, which is not very serious. So don't listen to him. Hang on, you're a legend of Formula One. I've seen the T-shirt that proves it. I got t-shirts, yeah, that's right, yeah, Croft, you're right this time. <laughs> now, Gunther, Formula One's only American team on the grid. You're the most famous person in America in the paddock. So how much are you looking forward to racing in Vegas? A lot, a lot, really a lot. I really look forward and uh, I, I didn't expect, uh, I got here yesterday, I didn't expect so many people for this event. We're a year away from the, from the race, guys. You know that, huh? We're not going to race tomorrow, so... They've got to get here early to get the best spot. Yeah, exactly. So you just have to wait a year, you know. But no, it's fantastic that you all came. It's, uh, it's fantastic, you know. It, it is absolutely unbelievable. Do you feel more pressure being the American team coming to the United States? Everyone wants you to do so well. No, I don't feel any pressure. I, I mean, I want to make it happen. That is my, that, that is our aim. That's the Haas F1 team's aim, uh, to, to make everybody proud here, you know. So we work hard for it and hopefully we can achieve it. And now, when you do achieve it, are you going to have a beep, 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 big party? Uh, no, I never do that. <laughs> You've seen it firsthand. Formula One is so popular in the United States now. It's a sport that is growing and growing and growing. Have we reached the ceiling? Or is there more room for growth yet? 
I think there is more room for growth. I mean, after seeing this one, I don't know where we go with it, but uh, I think we'll have a fantastic event uh, here next year. We have got three races in, in the United States now next year, so which is, uh, when we think back only three, three, four years ago, there was one race and it wasn't sure if it uh, continues. Now we got three very solid races, so uh, I think it's in a good way in the United States. And uh, we love it, actually. You know, it's Haas F1. We, we are still the youngest team in F1, so only seven years old. and. Uh, we are, we are very happy that uh, so many people uh, is watching us and they're over, also the other teams, obviously, you know. But you have to root for us. I'm sure they will be. The youngest team with the youngest team principal as well. Put your hands together, please, for Mr. Gunter Steiner. Oh, Naomi, what a night. What a night. Wasn't that amazing seeing the cars going down the Las Vegas Strip? And now we head over to the big moment of the night, the red button moment when the tickets for the Las Vegas Grand Prix will go live. Yes, it's the moment we've been waiting for. Shortly the tickets will go on sale for the Formula One Las Vegas Grand Prix. So let me call on our launch party to come to the stage, please, and to press the red button. Uh, Mr. Greg Maffei, Rene Wilm, and Stefano Domenicali, if you take your places behind the podium, please, to kick off that moment that we've all been waiting for. Uh, Stefano, Rene, Greg, are you ready? Because it's all on you. Not yet. not yet, not yet. Are you ready to press the button? Ready to rumble. Okay, well you should be because the moment this button goes down, the tickets for the 2023 Las Vegas Grand Prix will go live. Yeah, so it's a big responsibility, but we have three people very much up for that big responsibility, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful people of Vegas, here we go then. The thousands that are in attendance here at Trackside and the millions that are watching around the world for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. It's lights on and away we go!